Hey, my name is Brandy. I am the Spindle City Spinster because, uh, well, I'm from Spindle City or Mild City, uh, Lowell, Massachusetts, which has the distinction of being one of the meccas of textiles in the early 1800s. It's my hometown, dude. What can I say? Uh, this is a Turkish spindle. That I am spinning on right now, and I'm spinning some rather fine thread. Uh, what I'm spinning up is rombole that I have combed and carded and turned into roving. Uh, it's a, uh, it's actually really nice. It's really, it's not a really long staple length. Uh, I want to say it's probably. Less than a full inch, maybe, it maybe an inch, uh, but it's really curly and it feels fabulous when you're spinning it. It's it's actually it's just, it's so fun. Uh, yeah, not like that silk stuff, which feels great when you're spinning it, but is a pain in the butt. Oh, yes, this spindle came from uh, Thomas Creations, and they have an Etsy shop, and they are Thomas Creations, or Threads Through Time. I believe it's actually Threads Through Time, and uh, they're also the folks I got this roving from. Uh, they're good folks. Oh, and before I forget, I'd like to thank Kelly for loaning me her combs for forever so that I could get most of this going uh, tis tis the tax return season and hopefully there will be enough left of my tax return this year to go buy some more combs of my own all right uh, I am spinning this so that I can crochet it and that means that I'm spinning it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise or witter shins pick your poison there uh, backwards I'm spinning it backwards so that when I ply I can ply forwards and uh, that makes really good uh, it, the ply works better when you're crocheting it won't split or split open if you spin spin your yarn forward you will make stuff good for knitting because then you will be plying backward or counterclockwise or anticlockwise or quitter shins. So, what I am proposing is I need some music. I need music to spin to. I mean, come on. I need help here. I need something to spin to. I was listening to what was that? Casualties of Retail. That was pretty good. All the odd squeaking noises that you might hear in the background, those are my pets. I keep children in the other room. No. Those are my pet rats. They're not getting along right now. They might, in the very near future, end up all in separate cages. Because uh, they're just all misbehaving. What I'm doing right now is winding on and because this is a Turkish spindle it's uh, over two under one over two and when you're doing it kind of just goes real quick and you put it back on with a half hitch and you're good to go and all I am doing is just drafting a little bit and letting the twist go up into my fiber. Trying to keep the same amount of spin going 
until my spindle comes up on the floor. Man, trying to keep my uh, my yarn consistent, but even textile manufactured yarn is not entirely consistent. So. Anyways, your thoughts. What is good spinning music? Uh, ideas? Commentary? Links? Tell me. What's good spinning music? Alright, catch you later.